We reported that Nazi symbolism may not have to be censored in Germany anymore in regards to video games about one year ago. And made the prediction that we will be able to buy the next Wolfenstein game in the store around the corner uncensored. But I may be able to buy my games right here in Germany very soon. Did Germany just legalize the swastika in video games, thereby making the worldwide censorship of games like Call of Duty World War II redundant? Well, kind of. Our prediction has become reality. The new Wolfenstein is available in Germany with historical symbols intact. Yet, strangely enough, even though the mandatory censorship has been lifted, big stores choose to censor themselves and moved to boycott the uncensored version of the game. We heard that some of the German multimedia and electronic stores like Mediamarkt refused to sell the uncut version of the new Wolfenstein Youngblood because of the swastikas in it. And now we all ask ourselves, did the management collectively hit their head on the steering wheel of their Porsches while pushing the brakes too hard after a high-speed ride on the Autobahn? <laughs> because it doesn't seem to make much sense to not sell a product, while usually being happy to sell Nazi trash. In the past, publishers never had the balls to release a game with Nazi symbols in Germany. It was never prohibited in general, but the USK, the Unabhängige Selbstkontrolle, the German version of the ESRP ratings board, was simply assumed to ban all games with Nazi symbols in general. So no company ever wanted to go to court over it. I suppose no one wanted to be known as the company to fight for the swastika in Germany. It's uh, bad optics, I assume. In the not too distant past, a satirical show in Germany made a 2D fighting game in the style of the old Street Fighter, featuring political characters as protagonists. A member of the conservative to rather far right-wing party, AFD, was portrayed with a special move which turned him into the shape of a flipped swastika. By the way, the link to the game is in the video description down below. The party, the AFD, tried to sue the show to have the game, or at least that move, removed from the game. They lost. The court ruled in favor of the show, citing freedom of speech and arts, since this is obviously political commentary and satire. This apparently opened the floodgates. Many German magazines like GameStar reported that the swastika is now allowed. That is not completely true, since the matter is a little more complicated. But it doesn't matter for now. If you want to see a more precise video about the topic, let us know. Fact is that under the right circumstances, you can show swastikas in your video game. In short, if you do not praise the Nazis, the symbol should be fair game. But back to the German stores. Like we said in the beginning, they refuse to sell the new game because of that symbol. Oftentimes swastikas are censored on the boxes of DVDs in Germany, even if the movie itself is allowed to have them. I looked at the cover of the uncut USK version of the new Wolfenstein game to see if there maybe is a swastika symbol on it, which could be the source of the problem, but there are none. In addition, we have fictional movies that may be based on true stories or inspired by them, yet are not documentaries and are more or less realistic to a certain extent, like Indiana Jones, Inglorious Bastards or Saving Private Ryan, where you can see the forbidden symbol in the movies and no one bats an eye. Germans are throwing a gala premiere. In attendance will be most of the German high command. Because it is widely accepted as art. In Germany, games have been officially accepted as a form of art by now, but apparently not everyone agrees. Even those whose main purpose is to sell video games. Yes, even GameStop will not sell you an uncensored copy of the game in Germany. Do I smell bigotry against gamers? Okay, jokes aside. This isn't a case of bigotry. Everyone who tells you that gamers are an oppressed group, now nah, that's ridiculous. But but yet there isn't really any reason not to sell the games just because of the Nazi symbols. Maybe there's a different reason? The sales of physical media is going down more and more, with every year the shelves are filled with games that no one seems to buy. More and more people buy their games in online stores like Amazon or digital copies on platforms like Xbox, Steam or the PlayStation Store. The target audience for games like Wolfenstein Youngblood are older than 18 years. They don't bother to go to a store to buy a game. 
especially if you're not a console gamer. And if you consider the fact that we Germans had to buy our uncut games from stores located outside of Germany in the past, mostly Austria or Great Britain, so we aren't really used to the fact that we can now buy games fully uncensored at home. Maybe with this move they want to cash in on the parents that do not care about the 18 plus rating of the game for their 12 year old son, but would be shocked by Nazi symbols. I doubt it. It is an odd decision, because there is clearly demand for it. Especially for stores like GameStop, who are struggling not to go broke, it is an odd decision not to fulfill a demand. They do not really tell you why they are not doing it, they just cite that it would be controversial. So Saturn, Mediamarkt, GameStop, but also the Microsoft Xbox Store want to keep your gaming pure and operate out of a sense of morality? Or why are they doing this? And as a video game enthusiast from a country that had been riddled with laughable rules for censorship in the past, it annoys me when my government, or private companies in this case, want to patronize me. As if we are not capable of understanding that Wolfenstein, a game where freaking monster robot dogs, super soldiers, villains way over the top and max bigger than a skyscraper, that this game is just a parody. Nothing, nothing real. This is even more ridiculous in the context of the game. We are fighting against them, killing the Nazis by the hundreds, if not thousands. The entire Wolfenstein franchise is a mockery of fascism. It spits in the face of the Nazis. The German censors came to understand that. So why are private companies acting like the keepers of morality? In particular, stores like Mediamarkt or Saturn that keep the porn DVDs next to the kid movies in their store, about two meters apart. <laughs> Why so prude all of a sudden when it comes to video games? These stores sell rubbish like Nazi trash movies, which could be claimed are on the same level as the recent Wolfenstein game. Yeah, the new game is so-so, but irregardless of Wolfenstein the young blood being a bad game riddled with microtransaction garbage, it is laughably to boycott the game for the reason that they gave. Because all they said to the press when asked is, oh, it's controversial. What kind of reasoning is this? It isn't controversial in any other situations. If you took a stand and boycotted the game altogether because you do not stand for microtransactions in single player games, <laughs> well, that would be weird coming from you guys, but I could respect that. There are Nazi documentaries playing all day long on TV. You can go watch Inglorious Bastards Uncensored which is not very historically accurate, nor is it educational. Or what about Indiana Jones for that matter? We are mature enough to handle that, but not in a video game. I can only repeat myself, it is ridiculous. But ridiculous attitudes towards this matter are common in Germany. The bars and pubs I like to go to are frequented by punks. A lot of them have patches with crossed out swastikas to emphasize they do not like Nazis. Guess what, even the crossed out swastika was once banned in Germany. All I want to say is, attitudes towards the swastika are often irrational. When you even ban it in a context that clearly uses it to mock fascism and make the statement of how bad the Nazis were, you are an idiot in my opinion. But what are we to expect when people still come along with arguments like these? There you are, playing the PvP in your World War II shooter, and all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet there it is. And it's treated no differently than playing a British soldier. <sighs> well, what do you think about it? Share your opinions in the comment section down below. As always, I would like to thank our Patreons for their support, and I'm looking forward to reading the discussion in the comment section down below. <sighs> it's just silly to me. The literal censors think it's fine to use. So why does a private business sit on a high horse of morality about it, refusing to sell it, while the movie aisle is filled with Nazi trash movies? I suppose I'll take my business elsewhere then. Steam has both versions.